In this video, we're going to be opening up and checking out the new Panel Pro 2.0 from LoomCube. And is it worth it? And is it good for toy photography? Let's find out. So LoomCube, I don't know what they're doing, but they are just pumping out good new stuff lately. So I'm very excited about it. And this right here is the Panel Pro 2.0. So the Panel Pro 1.0, which is this guy right here, is my go-to light. And it's usually the first thing I grab whenever I'm doing any types of photos. Um, it's just great. It's got all the things I need. It's big, it's awesome. And so the 2.0, I can only imagine it's better. So, um, <laughs> I'm very excited. So thank you to LoomCube, you did actually send this over to me. We're gonna open this up, we're gonna see what it's all about, we're gonna do some toy photos with it, we're gonna compare it to the Panel Pro 1 and some other stuff and just see how great this thing is for toy photography. And if you want one of these, please head to the description of the video, I've got a link there as well as a 15% off discount. The 15% off lasts until the end of July, uh, and if it's past July, there'll be a 10% off down there. So LoomCube is, is the best, you know, so they're the best. So head to the link in the description, and yeah. Okay, here we go. Pop it open. We got some QR stuff. Here it is. Nice, very nice cord. Their cords have been very nice lately. And here it is. Um, it feels good, same size, definitely. It's got a diffuser right here, so if you ever want to diffuse. There's definitely a good thick feeling that is different to this than uh, the other one does not have. Uh, mount for a camera, put this on the top of your DSLR. And nice little, very nice little case. And um, that's about it. So this is the new one, this is the old one. The first thing I'm noticing here it's right on the top, there's actually a switch here on the new one. That's how you turn it on. You turn on a little switch, just like that. The old one does not. You have to hold down the button, which does work fine, but the switch is definitely better, so that's cool. Okay, so I just kind of messed around with this for a minute or so, and right off the bat, uh, the new one right here is uh, it's faster, it's got more options and capabilities as far as color and brightness and warmth and coolness. Uh, it's brighter. Did I say that already? It's brighter. <laughs> yeah, let's go over the differences as far as the UI and the stuff you can do with this thing. Okay, so turn the switch on. It'll pop up and here we go. We've got actually two different sections here. We've got the CC FX and we've got the hue saturation level. And if you watched my video on this right here, the tube light, that's it. I'll have that in the description if you want to check out that video. But the capabilities of this are pretty similar to the capabilities of that tube light. But this is a little bit more simplified, I think, actually, which is cool. So here on this level, the HSL set, whatever, this is where you can adjust the brightness. So the more I turn this up, the brighter it gets. It's very bright. Sorry about that. And uh, color, I can adjust color. So this will just loop through all the million colors in the world, which is cool. And so let's say here I've got it on purple. Um, if I want to adjust the saturation of that purple, I can. I don't have to have it on 100%. I can bring it down to only being, you know, 9% and it's a very dull grayish purple instead. Or I can turn it all the way off. Or the BT, which is, what's the BT? I don't know. What the heck is the BT? So I don't know what that BT means, so I'm gonna scan this little QR code on this thing they gave me. There we go. Control saturation of the light from zero to 100. And BT toggles the Bluetooth functionality on and off. BT stands for Bluetooth, duh. Wow, okay. Well, thanks for that, LoomCube and Trevor. I think that guy's name's Trevor, thanks man. Okay, so great, that's everything here on the HSL set. We got just how bright we want it. I'm gonna turn that down. Color, saturation, and the Bluetooth toggle which is very obvious over here we've got this is the more basic I think this probably would have been the better one to start with so we have just got brightness again how bright we want it and the temperature which is really cool it can get as cool as 7500 K which this one over here the coolest that it could go to this is the old one was like 52 so if I turn this as cool as possible it's a little slow I've been using it a while and I've gotten it wet too many times. 5700 was the coolest it would go to. 
uh, but this can go to 75. Okay, so this can get even cooler of a light, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, the GM here is kind of like a little bit of a tint to the color as well, so it can be a little bit more of a purplish kind of tint depending on what type of coolness. I know, it's like you can not only adjust the coolness and the warmth, but the tint of that coolness or warmth. Uh, and this is effects stuff too, which is uh, made for video kind of thing under scene here. So if you go to scene, you can change it to looping all the colors or to a strobe light. And you can make the strobe light either slow or fast using the frequency here. Whoa. The lightning one that looks like lightning flashing. And you've got fire, which looks like fire being um, on the camera. Candlelight, same thing there. Police siren, and then TV flashing, and that's it as far as the different effects, which are really cool for video kinds of stuff. So the one thing I didn't also mention is up here is the battery. So it says 55 minutes left at like halfway at 83%. So you know the higher you turn it up, it'll just tell you how much time you got left. But if I turn it really low, and I haven't charged this thing since I opened it up. At 11%, now we got three hours left of battery. But it'll be up to four hours at 50% and two hours at 100% power. So 100% power, which is very bright, you could light that for an entire two hour live stream or something. You know, that's that's really cool or whatever you're doing. So that's really, uh, two hours at full power is really great. That's, that's really great. So yeah, literally what this is, is the Panel Pro, but it's better in every way. And it is thicker too, so it stands up straight even better when I want to stand it up for a toy photo or something. Uh, and it's faster, it's brighter, it's it's just like, it's it's new and improved. So I, I definitely approve of it for sure. Plus this is like $20 cheaper than when the Panel Pro first launched, so that's, even better too. Um, so what I wanna do now is do some toy photos with this thing and just have some fun with incorporating the light as well as the whole entire thing into into some shots. So I'm just gonna do some fun ones here on the table. But um, for any other uh, lighting ideas, this kind of thing, I have a ton of different lighting videos. Uh, I'll link, have them linked here in the video and here in the description well as well. So definitely check those out to see what you can do with something like this. But yeah, let's get started with the first shot. I got some ideas here. Okay, so this is what I've got going on here. So we've got Hal Jordan over here. He's floating, I'm using just like an old stand. Uh, and he's got his ring pointed out like that. And what I'm gonna be doing is just kind of holding the green panel up at him like he's gonna go charge his ring or something with the green power of the loom cube, which is kind of fun. <laughs> and I've got some other lights here too, obviously. It's a little bit overkill, uh, but I just wanted some nice rim lighting and that's just kind of what these will serve as. And this one down here will kind of be lighting my arm as I'm holding it up. Here, as I'm taking the photo, I'll take a picture like this, and then I'll take another picture without Hal Jordan there, so I'll be able to remove all of this stuff very seamlessly, and I have all that stuff uh, in my uh, editing playlist if you wanna know how to remove stuff like that. I'll have that linked in there as well, just like everything else. So yeah, let's go take the shot. Okay, so the next shot is all set up. We've got Anakin Skywalker right here. He's a little angry. This is the SH Figure Arts uh, Anakin, and I've got the blue light over here, the uh, Panel Pro, and then I've got a couple other things going on here, just the, that, and it's pretty much all set up. It's very simple. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put my hand like this, so it's gonna look like Anakin stabbing my hand with this lightsaber. And so it looks pretty good in camera, and the blue is looking very uh, harsh. So let's hope that uh, <laughs> it comes out looking pretty good after I edit it and add the lightsaber in, in Photoshop. So yeah, let's go for it.
So my all-time favorite light just got better, and I'm very happy about it, and this thing is awesome, and I'm very excited to use this in some future shots, and I will be using it a lot. So if you want one for yourself, make sure to use my discount code and save yourself some cash. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to LoomCube for sending this in. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please just drop a quick like or even a subscribe. That would be amazing. And uh, I will definitely see you in the next video. Thank you so much.